Okay, everybody, so it's Booty, and uh, we're up here at the front counter now of Sound by Night Car Stereo in Omaha, Nebraska. And I'm here with my boy Hamilton Loomis. Yo, and now we're actually joined by the rest of the band here. Why don't you guys kind of introduce yourself? Howdy. I'm no, sorry. No, no. <laughs> you go first. That's way. Way. Go this way. Have another beer strap. Actually, unfortunately, I know this guy. But, uh, go, go around the rest. Everybody, my name's Kent Beatty, Hamilton's bass player. Bad, badass bass player, not just a bass player, badass bass player. <laughs> where are you from? Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh boy. We've got, uh, actually that's where Bazooka's from. Bazooka Car Audio is from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if it's so popular. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, bro? My name is Josh Duckworth, uh, from Houston, Texas, and I'm holding down in scans for him. You know? <laughs> trying, to, trying to keep up, trying to keep up with the hairstyle too. That's right. You're, you're doing okay. Yeah. And then this slot over here, I know very well. Uh, Stratton, uh, tell, tell me your whole story. Stratton Doyle, I'm the candy dropper of the band. You know, the saxophone player. The alcoholic of the band. Yes, yeah. that too it happens. Tell me, man. I mean, what you been up to? I mean, what's what's the tour been like so far? I mean, anything new coming out of the Hamilton Lewis camp right now? I mean, what, what's going on with you, bro? Right now, uh, man, things are looking really, really great, man. We've been playing a lot more festivals and everything, kind of moving up in the music world, so to speak. Uh, uh, this January, you know, every January we go out on tour and we kind of come up north and all our southern friends are like, oh, you're crazy for going up north, you know, this is so cold and everything. And yeah, it's a little bit cold up here, but man, all the shows have just been killer. Awesome. And everyone is so supportive and, and uh, everywhere we've, we've been, you know, out in Colorado and Wyoming and Montana, South Dakota, you know, and right here in Omaha too, you know, everybody's so supportive, man. Seriously, yeah. You got some coming up in uh, the very near future with a lot of uh, uh, dates in Europe too, right? Yeah, yeah. Every uh, Easter or so we go over to the UK and Europe and so we're kind of branching out and doing that thing too. So uh, that's looking great. Um, and uh, we're uh, talking about uh, doing a uh, possibly a live CD coming up here pretty soon and maybe even a live DVD this summer. That would be kick ass because uh, I've, I've, there's a little bit of uh, live music right now I know on your MySpace page mm -hmm. that I really dig. So, all you guys out there, like I said, in, in uh, especially in the Texas uh, landscape right now, check out this guy's website, check out his tour dates. Uh, lots of Texas shows coming up, like I said, and then uh, I'll be going over to England. So, if there's anybody actually watching Booty's Garage from England, Done. like that's gonna hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we can that out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, uh, a lot, a lot's been made out of uh, the blues and, and, and kind of uh, classifying uh, the blues. Um, you know, there's different genres or, or whatever of it. I mean, how would you, how would you classify your music? I mean, how would you describe your style? You know, the the running joke in the band is, why don't you give it a listen and you tell me? Okay. You know, it. It goes back to some advice that Bo Diddley gave me a long time ago, which was, you know, you got to do something different. The whole quote that he gave me, innovate, don't imitate, you know, because how do you really describe Bo Diddley's music, really? Right, right. I mean, it was rock and roll, it was kind of a little bit of blues, but it was its own kind of beat that he had his own style, you know, right. and, and that's something I really took to heart, you know, and I kind of took all my influences uh, uh, growing up, which was, you know, soul and, and rock and funk and blues and everything, and just kind of rolled it up into one, and that's kind of, that's how it comes out. Yes, you know, but you know, is Johnny Lang? A, you know, right. oh, he's a blues artist. You know, Eric Clapton now is a blues artist. You know, uh, 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 Kenny Wayne Shepherd is a blues artist. But where do their labels put him? They put him in the rock right. section because it has the most visibility. So it's it's kind of a you know, it's a touchy thing. But you know, the label I, put you wherever they want. I, I I understand that, that completely. And, and but you said something kind of interesting a second ago about uh, Bo Diddley. Um, now you, if I'm not mistaken, you knew him at, at, a, at a fairly early age. Yeah, you know? I got to meet him when I was 16, and we became friends and recorded together, and uh, gave me a lot of advice and stuff. I owe so much to him, you know. Uh, got to record with him on the last CD. And just yeah, was say, he, had, yeah. He, had, uh, he, he helped you out on one of the songs. Is that yeah, the song was called "You Got to Wait." That's right. And uh, we recorded it, we put it out, and unfortunately he passed away last year in June, and uh, you know, the world lost a rock and roll legend there. No doubt, no doubt about no. it. And, and hopefully, uh, in we take a little bit of concert uh, footage here uh, coming up later. Um, you still got that uh, guitar there? Yeah. yeah. All right. So you'll, you'll, you'll hopefully see a little bit of this guitar. The, the yeah. rectangular yeah. red Bo Diddley guitar. Yeah, yeah. It's like a signature. signature. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll look for that a little bit later on in this uh, segment. But let's get, uh, let's get right to it. Let's get to the 
serious questions. Now. Oh boy. Um, you guys, I want to bring the band in here a little bit. You guys have been touring with this maniac for, for quite a while. Any kind of uh, dirt that you can kind of share a little bit with what's yeah, going on yeah. with this guy? Any kind of pet peeves that you have uh, touring around with this knucklehead here? I got, I got one. <laughs> I got so, one. Speak up, Shrek. Come on. Oh, oh okay. I got to talk loud. I'm sorry you're deaf. No, 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 this is, this is raw video here, right? I don't have any microphones up in this bitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the other night we were in, uh, I figured this out, this is my only pet peeve about ham. Figured this out in, in uh, La Crosse, Wisconsin. When was that? Last night? Two nights ago. Two Monday nights night. Ago, yeah. Hamilton has the worst gas <laughs> ever. Uh, uh, my wife would probably, probably hate to differ, but go ahead. Well, okay, uh, yeah, probably, fair, you know, well, this, this was Hamilton's thing. We were playing the song, it was coming up, it was coming up on my solo, and I'm a saxophone player, I have to breathe. <laughs> While I play it, I look over to Hamilton, right before I smell it, look over to Hamilton, and he just looks at me, and he smiles, and he goes, sorry, buddy, and I went to go play my solo, and I went, oh. <laughs> now, to be fair, it wasn't my idea to go to the Mexican food restaurant before the show. And second of all, that is the smallest stage on the planet. Yes. <laughs> so it was just bad luck that <laughs> I'm not going to mention all the other nights when we have some other outbursts on stage, which are not of the vocal kind. Nice. Uh, I'm going to get back to some of the dirt that we were talking about. I mean, you're, are, who's married or who's got girlfriends or anything like that? I'm, I'm, I'm the old married fart in the band. So the rest of you guys? I do have a girlfriend, yeah. Okay. So, so who, who's the who picks up the trim here? I mean, who, well, who's I the Josh? Who's lady has got haircuts today. <laughs> yeah, so we're yeah. Yeah. exactly what kind of trim you're talking about. We're the only one. Yeah. <laughs> who, who, who plays who, who plays wingman for this guy? Because obviously this is the. I mean, not to say that you guys aren't attractive or anything, but that, that kind of sounded gay. But but I mean, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But this <laughs> this, this <laughs> guy here obviously puts him at it, and then you just guys kind of like you know right um, wingman. We have to, uh, no, we don't play so the wingman. So who's the We have to keep him away from him. Yeah, we, our job is whenever we see a girl get a little too flirty, we go and Intercept. fire a shot. <laughs> Try to, uh, you know, get the attention away from him. A lot, a lot has also uh, been made. I know that, I, matter of fact, even today, as we pulled up outside of his hotel, uh, I had a uh, young lady make the comment about the, the me, me uh, comment. <laughs> uh, a, lot, a lot of people have said that, that Hamilton's almost like my mini me. Um, you know, I'm six foot four and you're five, five seven. seven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but as you can tell, we kind of share the same uh, thought. But here, here comes another uh, big serious question. Uh, I gotta know. I mean, I'm not gonna share all my secrets, but what 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 uh, what, what kind of hair gel do you use, man? That's that's the that's the biggest question that I want to answer right here tonight. You, you, you need to help your You thought jokes. that what you just said sounded gay before? Yeah. yeah. This, this is talking about this. hair products now. This is good. This is it. You know, know. honestly, no, no. You know what? That that's a great question because like <coughs> that's like some personal stuff that some people might actually want to know, man. You know, when I when I get out of the shower, when I get out of the shower, I have an afro. It's that curly. So it's that curly. Yeah, so well, I am mini you. Yeah, see, I guess. I mean, you know, you must have something else going on here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> American Crew Fiber. Is American Crew Fiber. Fiber. It's like $27, a little tiny jar like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll write that one down. Yeah. I don't know. You look like you can like it. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's also a little That's bit. That's my plane here there. And you just switch with emails. Yeah, actually, actually yeah, mine's just quite. Yeah, mine's just actually uh, Elmer's. Uh, Elmer's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you pick it up in any uh, child's uh, Crayola uh, location and more. Local so, Walmart. Right? There you go. And you don't have to wash your hair for. You know, actually, yeah, it's, it's like waterproof. It's it's. it's, 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 it's All right, last serious question. Obviously, guys. I mean, uh, Super Bowl weekend coming up. Uh, big game coming up this Sunday. I mean, you got you got any predictions here? We can just kind of go around the room. Any predictions on the big game? Yeah, I'll take the Cardinals to win, but I think the Steelers are going to pull it off. Man. So I got one Steelers. I didn't even know who was in the Super Bowl. Yeah, <laughs> so they're just, they're just, they're musicians, man. Yeah, they're there's plenty. Of the musicians, like guys, don't even know who's even in the, <laughs> the, the Super Bowl. I, I didn't even know who was yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> Cardinals are what? Cardinals? These are the Cardinals play baseball. Beautiful. <laughs> Poor <laughs> question. <laughs>
Folks, I'm going to say this carried away. I want to say thank you to Sound by Night for uh, sharing this beautiful, elegant uh, building here. Having us uh, take a look. Having us take a look at the van. Having us take a look at the van back here. And we're going to say, hopefully, hopefully, we'll be doing some upgrades uh, to that vehicle. I'm pretty excited about it. We thank you for that, definitely. Yes, no definitely. problem. No problem. Um, hopefully we get something accomplished there. Again, thank you, Sound My Night, for taking your time here tonight and, and offering us this beautiful uh, shot. Uh, we're going to cut right now. We're going to cut live. Um, actually, I'm going to hold on a second. I might have something kind of fun that we're going to do right now. So just hold tight.